Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I started a project the other day and I didn't start recording it. And I should have. This was an old white hood that I bought to put on my truck. And I sanded it down. Uh, started with 80 grit and got the top surface of the paint. I think it was single stage paint off. And I sanded out all the rock chips and stuff. And uh, decided I was going to try some uh, magic paints, magic tractor and truck and implement uh, paint from uh, Tractor Supply. So um, ended up sanding the white down, getting the uh, you know the top coat off. We'll call it top coat because I'm sure it had like several layers of white paint on it. It's pretty thick, and uh, I primed it with this good stuff right here. It's all-purpose magic enamel interior exterior oil-based primer. Uh, says it works for metal, concrete, plaster, masonry, hardboard, and wood, and it's gray primer. And I'm going to go back over it with this good stuff here. Magic Tractor Truck and Implement Paint International Harvester Red. And I'll show you. I scuffed up the bottom of the hood already and painted it with the red. It wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, but uh, I figured what the hell. We'll just go ahead and just keep working on this hood because this is a extra hood. And uh, what I really want to do is paint it red and then put stripes on it. I thought about getting one of those turbo cans. And it's like painting the middle of it black and then painting the uh, red on the outside of it and you know, tape off the stripes. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint it red tape off the stripes and leave them exposed and then cover up the red do it the opposite way of what I see everybody else doing. Um, the other day I came out after about 24 hours and I touched it with my hand and got a few scratches here and there. Let me barely just run my nail across it. I was kind of concerned about it, but after doing some research, I found out that this particular paint, you have to give it 24 hours to dry to cure before you do anything to it. Like you put one coat of primer on, you sand it, you put on another coat of primer. Then you sand it and then you top coat it. And then between top coats, you gotta give it 24 hours between every coat of primer and paint, which is ridiculous. But I figured since I've already started, I might as well go ahead and give it a try. So right now we're at a standstill because the next few days are going to be in the 50s and we're in my garage and I don't have heat. So I'm going to let this all cure up. You can see some of it is shiny and then some over here is not. That's because I put hardener in it and over here and this was like the first coat I put uh, a little too much hardener. So it's got a lot more sheen to it than the other side. But um, we can see right here how it's more dull, has less hardener in it. But um, I don't think you're supposed to put hardener in it. <laughs> but a lot of the automotive hardeners come, I mean, a lot of the automotive primers come with uh, hardener, so an activator. So I just put it in there. But I'm going to have to sand these spots here and definitely put more uh, primer on before I top coat it. Otherwise, I think it looks good. It looks like there's something there, but it's just a dead bug. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to have to wait till probably Friday. It's going to be about 73 degrees here in South Carolina. And then I'll uh, sand it and put another coat of primer on it. And then the next day, it should, you know, if I do that early in the morning, the next day it should be um, warm enough for it to cure up. Uh, and I'll probably sand it and top coat it with the International Harvester Red. And I'll take you along the journey doing this hood right here. See how it turns out. Um, I'm really leaning towards buying some single stage paint for the whole truck. But I wanted to see what how this turned out. You know, it could be an optional hood if I want to swap it out or whatever. But uh, I'm thinking about going with Lava Red and uh, getting some... Uh, automotive primer just to prime the truck and then later we'll paint it with the lava red and then uh, down the road I might clean it up and go over it with uh, some pearl clear coat 
and top it with another coat of clear coat just to lock it in, you know. That way I can cut and buff it later, wet sand it, you know, and buff it up to a nice mirror shine. We'll see how it turns out. It's just one of those things I'm working on right now. I wanted to mention that I use a uh, sprayway glass cleaner to degrease the surface before I go ahead and lay the paint on. The, the sprayway glass cleaner doesn't leave any residue behind. A lot of guys that uh, work on cars, they use that wax and grease remover, and it does leave a film. You need to go back over it with something like glass cleaner like, like that to get that film off. Once you get that film off, it looks it goes on a lot smoother with less fish eyes and stuff like that. I don't have any in the primer, and I hope that's the way it turns out with the paint, too. Okay, I'm back with the Rust-Oleum hood, or the Magic Tractor and Truck Implement Paint hood. <laughs> I'm going to try and sand this a little bit so that I can uh, put another coat of primer on it. It's still a little too cold, but uh, I want to try and get it sanded anyway so I can be ready. I got a couple of scratches right here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can't believe that I did that with my nail. I'm using a 400 grit. Try and sand out these, and then I'm going to go over the whole hood and scuff it up. Try and go in two directions so I don't get a pattern going here. They're still there. I got some uh, spray can primer. I might throw a coat of that on there and then see if it fills in those voids after I sand it again. That'll dry a little quicker. A little worried that the combination might cause a wrinkle, but we'll see. All right, I'm back. I uh, went ahead and sanded it with the uh, um, oval sander. I don't have a DA sander, so I just use my palm sander. Uh, where the scratches were, there was some trash in the paint here. And I had to sand out. And then right here is where that little scratch was. Still a scratch there. I'm going to have to finish sanding that out. But anyway, um, I guess I got it too hot right here, trying to work on the scratches. And... The paint got burnt and was stuck, so I had to scrape it off, switch paper, and sand it off. So I'm going to have to redo all this again. I'm going to finish sanding that scratch out right there. I thought it was gone, but I guess it ain't. Once you dust it off, you see the, see the blemishes. But anyway, overall, it looks pretty good. You see where it was a little thin along there, and I burned through on some of the edges. But um, that's why you put a second coat on, right? Anyway, I'm going to put another coat on it. It's like 60 degrees right now. So I'm putting a heat lamp on it, warm it up, and uh, mix up some paint and slap another coat on it. And uh, we'll go from there. After that coat, I'm not going to touch it again until today is Tuesday. I won't touch it again until probably Friday. Then I'll probably just scuff it up lightly and throw the paint on it. I wanted to ask you a question, though. I got a board over here. I got a board and get your opinion. It's two different colors. This up here is burgundy, actual burgundy. And then this here is the color I wanted to paint it with a little bit of black in it to darken it up. I think I'm just not going to darken it up. I'm going to leave it the color that it is, which it kind of looks that way on the camera already. It doesn't look as dark in person as it does. I mean, it looks darker in person than it does on the camera. But anyway, I was thinking about putting a stripe. Two stripes, in fact. One down each side of the hood. One here. And then one over here. Give me your opinion. I like the stripe. I think it looks cool. And what I do is down here at the bottom, 
instead of running it to the edge, I'll just like bring it over and taper it like that to the to this inner side. I think that would look cool. Um, you can buy stripes. They're like $100, $150 a set if you want to go that way with vinyl stickers. But I figure I messed them up putting them on anyway, so I, I can paint it. But like I said before, this is just a test hood. If it turns out great, I might use it. If it don't, I still have the hood on the truck. Right. Let me take my mask off here. We got it primed. Um, what I did was I used uh, one third acetone to about half a quart of primer, and I added some hardener to it. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I did. So it helped it dry quicker. I'm going to put a heat lamp on this, and we're going to let it dry overnight, probably uh, two days before we touch it. And that way we'll avoid last time scratching up the hood, you know. I had them scratches right in here. Good thing they came out. Looks pretty good. I don't see any dents on the hood. It looks pretty good. As long as the paint turns out all right, we'll be all right, I think. We'll let this dry until the weekend, and then we'll scuff it up and we'll paint it. Um, just so you know, I am using a Harbor Freight gun. The good old-fashioned purple one that everybody knows and loves with a moisture catcher on it, filter. I'm using the Harbor Freight cups that you buy at Harbor Freight. Mixing the paint with these, spraying it with these. So, now you know what I'm using. Just a common man with a common plan. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, how about leave me a like? And if you don't mind, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It really helps the channel grow. And I can bring you better content than this. Maybe I can afford to get real paint for my truck. <laughs> anyway, if you liked it, like I said, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to tell your friends about me and share the video. And uh, subscribe. And I hope you have an awesome day.